and this monkey 1000 and today well it's nighttime now um, I was working on my diamond painting a little bit today so I was gonna do an update maybe do a little bit with you I am trying to get this done I want it off the table for Thanksgiving so I am getting pretty close so um, I'll show you what I've done and then we'll do a little together be right back Okay guys, so this is what I've gotten done so far. I worked on it all down here today. They were W's and um, the W's were 3 and I worked on I think 20 was D. So these were all down. They were more like water. I'm going to take this plastic off so you can see better. Uh, let me see here. Oops, I think I bumped you. Sorry. And I really, I like doing this. This is fun. Um, lots of fun to do. I do get lazy though, but a lot of it's because my arm. So um, I'll tell you about the updates on that in just a few minutes. And what has happened because I haven't really explained anything about my arm but that's it right there these are all w's and d's in here now i really had a hard time discovering because there's an o in here that i haven't done yet and i sometimes think there are d's so it's a good thing i have my magnifying glass because i would bring it up like so i don't know if you guys can see through there or not and it really helps a lot it really, really does. I don't know if you guys can see through that. But you can see the numbers so much better. So then I could tell that I, that was an O from from a D. But I'll tell you, with, without knowing, you know, like these look like Ds when you take the thing away. But they're O's. They're, they're all O's. So um, I still have some more Ds to do. So we're going to do them together. They're all up in here. Uh, I see one, two, three, four, five, five D's up in there, six, seven. Yeah, so there's quite a few up in this area up here. So we're going to work on this area. I think I got a lot of them over here. Um, but I have to use this magnifying glass. You know, that's the problem. You know, your eyesight is not really good. This is not a good project to do. But... You know, if you can use these tools, it really, really helps. See, there's a lot of O's up in here. And if you take it away, look, they look like D's and they're not. They're O's. So, I'm so glad I got this. It really, really helps. So, we're going to do over here. I think that's probably all of them is just in that area. Because I don't see anything else i don't know if you guys can see all that yeah see so we're going to do over here which is yeah so we're going to do that but it's looking pretty good i think um you know there's a lot of there's p's and e's and a's the a's are right down here where i'm pointing at right here and here and i fill those in i'll be even closer i don't have much more to go though i really really don't I'm doing pretty good so anyways so I got my little tool here and I think I need some wax on it so we'll do the waxy thing here oops things are sticking and what you do you just if you've never done this before I bought them at Timu you can buy them on Timu um, there's other places too. You can just Google it and you can find other places that sell these diamond paintings. I never knew anything about it until I found somebody on, on, uh, YouTube for, for, for Timu. And she was talking about it and I was like, hmm, never heard of it. And I, this thing's been around for a long time, but, you know, if you haven't heard about it, it's all new to you. So, we're going to look for the D's. So, I'm going to use my magnifying glass to help me here. I mean, this light does work. I think, do I have it? Yeah, I had it all the way up. It only has three touches on this. 
So, but I still, you know, you want that extra because, see, they start blending in with all the diamonds you already done. So it makes it even harder to, to see. So I'm just kind of pinpointing them and then I can see them better. And that's it, you know. Um, and uh, that was the wax I put on here. And as you can see, it's on the tip here. I don't know if you can see that or not. I guess I should show you. Um, it might be a little dark here. Yeah, it might be too dark. But you put the wax and it's on the tip. And this is for three. So if you want to do like three in a row or... No, this is a six. So you can do six in a row. So you can pick them up from your little bucket right here and do six all at once and just dab them in there if you want to. I find it more difficult to do that than I do doing one at a time because it, they sometimes don't come off of this very well or it will um, get on top of the other one so then you have to straighten them out and I think that takes more time than it does just to use the one-on-one -on -one thing. But sometimes I'll use it as long as I have a lot to do there let's see so yeah and um see these are all o's i see a couple of these over here so i gotta shake my little boat here i call it a little boat and you shake it so the diamonds are upright so you can grab onto it and get on here I have shown you this hat on and off but i didn't want to do bore you all to death and do every step you know because you get the idea you know how to do it especially once I've already done this I know they probably know better than I do on how to do this mine aren't perfect they're not completely as straight as they should be but I do the best I can for it and for my first time I don't think it's that bad really and once they're all done and blended in you know y'all even get some more. I might think I might be almost done all these D's. I think there's one way up here. There's a D right there. So let's get a diamond. Diamond! And we'll put it... Ugh, I'm afraid I'm going to put it in the O instead of the D because they all look alike to me. Um, it's made it really hard now because I got to get in between stuff. And, um, yeah, so one girl, um, said that if you do it on angle, if you angle it and go like this, it's quicker and it keeps it more in line. But I had already started this, so maybe the next time I do something, I might try it to see if it works. But she, she swears by it, so it may work pretty good. Uh, I mean, it, it, probably, it might depend on what you're doing, too. Because um, I have some in my basket that I want to do, but they're not pictures. They're other things, which will be different um, once I can afford to get them. Which is taking longer than I wanted to. But that's okay. I got another D in there. So, where did I see? Oh, there it is. Right there. Oops, I lost it. So, you got to get them in between two other ones that are a different color. And sometimes it's not so easy. And then I just make, I put my finger on there just to make sure it's pressed down a bit so it doesn't fall down. I've got one, I think that I saw up this way that is backwards and it is right here and why I think of it I need to turn it Ooh, now I lost it there it is it's an A and it was flipped upside down so what I'll have to do is go and use the magnifying glass real carefully and go real slow when I finish to make sure they are all upright and nice and shiny because I did I did see that accidentally so um, yeah 
but uh, yeah so that's let's see if we can find any more D's in here um, but I'll tell you a magnifying glass is the ticket with the board both of them have been great you know for helping me see <coughs> I cannot believe how weak my eyes have have gone how bad I see some W's over here too that I need to get that I've already done I did some of these were W's up in through here and I did all them all these blues you know and they're dark blue and light blue and they blend together to make all that sparkle so I'm looking for more D's and as soon as I walk away from the D, I won't have a D. Is that supposed to be there? I'm sorry. I, I hit you. I'm going to back you up a little bit. Move back. There you go. But, um, yeah. So, what has happened in my life? Well, First, my mom had her eye surgery done. I'm both off her eyes, so that is done finally. We were to do that before she had her pacemaker put in, so um, then her pacemaker happened. So um, she it was in the air for that. So we got that done, and we thought she was never going to get her eyes done. So I'm so glad that she got her eyes. She's quite happy. She says it's such an improvement. Light is shining through the eyeballs, so um, and she's happy with it. She's quite happy. I'm putting drops in her eyes. Um, you have to do this for like four weeks in both eyes. So they did the first one first, so the right eye will stop at the eye drops before the left eye, because they do the left eye last. So I don't see anymore. So I'm going to put this away, the these beads, and I have my container here. I have one, well, let's see, I have a problem, and I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll have to wait until the very end, but I had number six here. I don't know if you guys can see here. Number six is this one right here. Oh. I'll open it up. Number six is E. Well, the thing, the problem is, I don't know, can you see that? I don't know if you guys, anyway, you don't need to see the number anyways. Number six is E, and the thing is, I got a lot of E's left. This is the one that got spilled on the floor. And I am empty. I do not have any more. So my thing, what I'm going to do with the E's, is I'm going to get it all done. See how many beads I have left. And I may have a lot of blue left. I'm not sure. But if I do, I'm going to blend them in on the E's. That's what I'm going to have to do. Because um, that one is gone. I have other ones, and this is bad too. I've had some problems. Um, for whatever reason, I had closed these all up and they um, popped open somehow. And they are now all in my case. So this happened today. So I didn't want to mess with it. So I, And there's two different colors here. Here, let's see if you can see that. Yeah, I don't know. I'll try to lighten this up because it looks pretty dark. Anyway, so there's two different colors here. There's a darker blue and a lighter blue that got mixed up together. Yeah. So I'm just going to leave it until I run out of these and then I'll play with this. At least the one good thing, it happened inside the case. <laughs> you know, it could have been on the floor again. So... I do have some issues, but um, I don't think it's going to be a horrible issue because E here is 6 and E was um, 
a blue, a, a different type of blue, but it was a blue. So I don't think it's going to bother it too much as long as I have some left over. If I don't have anything left over, I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I will have to order maybe some beads. They do have numbers on those. I'll have to look on Timu and see if you can actually order them separately. Um, but that's the only thing I know what to do. But I'm going to make sure everything else is done first. Because see, these are all E's here. There's E's here and here. So um, we will see what happens with that. But I'll let you guys know. So after my mom's done, so um, the thing happened with my arm. I was supposed to have surgery. The lawyers decided that it wasn't a good enough case for my arm to be involved with the car accident. So they told me that I needed to go through my own insurance to get my help for my arm. So I went through my primary doctor. And she sent me to a doctor, and I went and seen him. He gave me a shot of cortisone, and he gave me some inflammation medicine. And then he sent me back to rehab. Now, you can basically choose where you go. Well, I wanted to go to the back to the same place because they know my history. They know me. You know, they know what's happened and all this. So, and um, so... He basically says, I have a frozen arm. Well, he seems to think the therapy is going to work. But, you know, the other two doctors are saying different. So it, it makes you wonder about doctors and their orders. It's like, I feel like, um, like when you go buy a house, they tell you, you not to do, not to look at too many houses because then you get too confused and you don't know which is which and you you mess yourself up and sometimes you buy the wrong house that way so they like to limit to limit you on how many houses that you look at well it's the same way idea i think with a doctor you know they you go to too many doctors you're going to get too many answers and when you're not getting the exactly the same answer what is the problem you know, it, it's, I've had two MRIs on this arm. You know, is it torn rotary cuff? Is it scar tissue? Is it both? Is it, is it a complete frozen arm and you can exercise for two years and it's going to come out fine? And I was told the longer I wait on the frozen arm that it could end up being like this forever and I could be stuck with a frozen arm. So, you know... I'm hoping this doctor is just doing a formality thing for the insurance company because I did have to go through my primary insurance this time instead of what I was doing with the lawyers. So I'm not happy about the situation at all because the other two surgeons I went and seen, I asked them if they thought it was part of the accident and they said both of them said yes, they both did. So... You know, uh, it's very confusing and getting to be very stressful. So, um, but the cortisone helped a little bit. I'm, I haven't been feeling the pain as I was, but how long is it going to last? I don't know. Probably not very long. So, and they can only give me so much because I'm diabetic. It raises your sugar. And it raised my sugar pretty high, so they have to be very careful. So that's what's happened with me and this painting. I think I'm doing pretty good, though. I like it a lot. Um, and after I do this, Shaber's going to make a frame for it. So I just want to have it all completely done so then I don't have it on the table here and we can take it off and know that the beads ain't going to fall out if I move it so that's what I'm trying but I don't know if I'll get it all done there's it's it's like tedious work now you know I've done the big huge spots really and it's getting to be tedious so anyways here we go I'm going to put this one away and I will bring out, let's, we'll do A's because A is 9. 
And we'll, we'll try to do that one, I think. I'll be right back after I put all these beads away. Okay guys, so now we're going to do A. And this is all the A I have, but I think it's in the bottom of that case, part of this. So, um, yeah, we'll see how many I can get done with this mount. And um, so, right now I don't need the magnifying glass because it's not too bad. A, you can tell that it's an A. Um, but D's and O's, really hard to tell. So, I'm just doing this. But, uh, I know, I've had quite a mess with the beads in them. So, I don't know what I'm going to do yet with that mess. But, hopefully we can correct it somehow. But I want to make sure that all the other stuff is supposed to be where it's supposed to be. So, I don't want to bother them until the very end. So, um, get that done. I hope y'all had a good Halloween. We didn't do anything, really. We did, well, we, I was on Shea Bear's, um, live there. We did that. Um, but I didn't do anything for my channel. Um, but I'm getting closer to the mark of 500. Um, so, um... Yeah, so when I get to 500, I'm going to do a giveaway. And um, I'll do a giveaway then, and then when I get to 1,000, I'll do another give giveaway. So I think I got like 471, something like that. So I'm getting closer to the 500 mark. So that's good. Thank you for all your watching me, and I hope you enjoy my videos, and... We try to have fun and do a variety of stuff, so then, you know, you're not bored, you know. And I also do these for, for memories for us and for my family, so when my children or my grandkids want to look at it, they have something they can look back at. And I think it's a great way of keeping stuff alive a little bit. Yeah, so I sent off the my grand boys both their gifts, so they're getting all their stuff on the seventh. I think it's supposed to show up. So that after the seventh, I will put that video up, and then you'll see all the stuff that they got. And if you're interested, if you're not, you don't have to watch it. I know not everybody has grandkids or has children, so that are little that but if you're interested in in the boy clothes you might be off of Timu so it might be interesting to you yeah that's why we do different videos so everybody has something and uh, y'all enjoy it if you don't you know some people might like a certain videos and want to watch those and some want to watch all of them so I did have four kids for Halloween. <laughs> that was a little improvement from the year before. Um, I didn't get any the year before. One year we had them come by and it was a church. They had their kids and they were teaching the kids to give instead of take candy. And so they gave us candy. Um, which was different. But... I don't get that many. I thought I would get more this year, only because everybody on the street, a lot of them, um, first of all, have moved in here, and um, they have gotten kids. So there's more kids now on this road so than there was when I first came here. So um, I was kind of disappointed. Maybe if it had been on the weekend, it might have gotten a little bit more. I don't know. I have no idea. But I'm, I'm one of these people, I'm afraid if I don't buy any candy, then 
you know, they're all going to come to the door and I'm not going to have anything. So, and I feel bad because, you know, I had lots of fun as a kid, you know, when we did it. We had a great time. And we, as adults, need to let those kids have the same fun as we did. We should not be taking these holidays away from them. You know, it's their childhood, their memories that they need to have. And, you know... It's wrong to take them away. So I think it's great that um, people are getting out there. And I hope it goes back the other way. I really do. Um, we used to have so much fun. Well, I was in Canada then. And my aunt, she was the oldest. My dad's sister, she was the oldest. She was uh, in their teens. And my uncle, I think he was like probably 13, 14, somewhere. And I was eight. And my aunt was 10. That's two years old to me. And we would all go out. And we would all go out until late at night. And and then we would bring our... We would take sleeping bags. And then we'd bring our... Uh, sleeping bags, sorry. Pillowcases. <laughs> Not sleeping bags. Pillowcases. And we would um, fill them up. And we'd bring them back. And we would go back out again. Especially if it was on the weekend, we didn't have school. We'd stay out until midnight, as long as we could. We would go to Dairy Queen. They used to give out ice cream. They also would give you a certificate so you could come back at a, a discount. I mean, a certificate, a discount, and you could come back and get ice cream anytime you wanted for one scoop, you know, one time. I don't know if... Um, Dairy Queen does that here. I, I don't know um, if they even still do something like that. It would probably depend on your Dairy Queen. I don't know. And some of the stores, we used to give out candy. You know, if we were close by the stores, we would go to them. Oh, we would walk and walk and walk for miles on end just to have that candy. Then my father, he would try to steal some of it. I used to get mad. But then I ended up getting sick of it and to end up throwing it out after a while. So, you know, you can't get too much candy. <laughs> so, I like licorices and I like the Kit Kats and I would eat those. And I would take the bags of potato chips to school with me for my lunches. That was that was nice to have those. But yeah. So anyways I thought I'd bring you along and let you see how much I more I got done. Um yeah. I haven't been doing it very much there for a while. Mm. I was busy with her taking her. I have to drive an hour away to take her to the eye appointments and stuff. So we were busy doing that. And, you know, just trying to live. And we were doing our Timu stuff. And I was so glad the boys finally are going to get their clothes for their birthdays. It's a little later than I wanted it to be, but sometimes it can't be helped so it's just what it is and they know it's coming so that'll make them happy my grandson calls me once in a while calls me on the phone and talks to me now that he's getting older he's he's 10 now he just had his birthday so that was quite he's something he's He's into history big time. I've never met a 10-year-old into history like him. He's really liking it. I don't know if he'll stay like that or if this is just a little fad thing, you know, what kids do. they always changing. But I think it's a good thing. At least he's doing something intelligent. So... They live in Alabama, so I don't get to see them much. Oops. 
Alabama. I've never been there. Nope. So, anyways. I think they're happy there. They seem to be. The boys do. <laughs> I don't know if parents are, but <laughs> the boys do. Let's see, I got all these A's, A's here. It's like along the stem here. Oops. Gotta slide it over. Yep. There we go. See right here, they look like D's to me right now. But if I put magnets, they're O's. <laughs> so, at least I know they're O's. Terrible. I can't see. Okay, I might need to have the same surgery my mom did. <laughs> yeah. She really is happy. And she'll be happier when the drops are, are done, I think, too. So she don't go back until the new year. Uh, they'll let you settle on the drops, and then you, I, I guess, I wait for it to completely heal. So, and then we'll see if she has to go back to her retinia doctor or not. Um, they said there was a little bit of bleeding behind the eyeball, um, which is caused by diabetes. And, uh, but it, it wasn't as bad as it used to be. Because she used to go to the retinia doctor, and they used to put needles in her eyeballs. And she was brave, I'll tell you. They actually put those needles in your eyes. And I'm like, ooh, no thank you. And uh, she said it didn't even hurt. She didn't even know they were there. So she was she was a trooper on that. So that was before her cataracts ripened. So they have to wait for them to ripen. One good thing about cataracts, though, they don't come back. So that's good. Once you have it done, they just don't come back. So. I just saw an A, and then I lost the A. <laughs> I saw it and lost it. So, um, I'm looking to see if there's any more A's around in here. These are K's and E's. O's and R's. I still got quite a bit here to do. And it's kind of getting down to the, you know, nitty gritty. Here's some A's over here. So we'll do these A's. And, you know, as you get down, it takes a little longer because you got to, you know, you got to go in between two beads instead of just putting one bead, you know. Sometimes you gotta go way in between. You gotta make sure that they're gonna sit down and be flat. And if you haven't never done this, but um, yeah, so but it's fun. It, it, it's enjoyable. I have fun doing it. I just want to get this done for her, so if she has it, and she can hang it up in her wall in her bedroom. And. I still have those keychains. I haven't done them all. <coughs> I did two of them. And um, that was it. I think I have four more left that I can do. Something like that. Four or five. I think there were six in a pack. I remember. Oh, where'd that A go? I saw that A and now it disappeared again. See what I mean? You just, you think you saw it and then it's gone. Here's another one right up here. Alright, I only got a couple of these and then I'm going to say quit because it's getting late. And I'll have to do my meds, my med, my insulin. Um, I 
Oh, there's two A's right down here. Can you imagine? These colors, I tell you, they're all different blues, but... Ugh. It is something, having all these blues. Tedious, tedious. Yeah, there's lots of A's down in here, right in here. It's all water, eh? It's supposed to be water. No. Yeah, I'm going to be out of these. I'm going to have to scrounge. I bet you that that's what fell down. Ugh. I think. Yeah, so. I got a couple more in here. Like three. <laughs> But I think they're all in the bottom there because there was quite a few of them. So it really, if they're so close together in the blue, who's gonna notice? You know, I mean, if they were different yellows and different pinks, maybe. But these all blend in pretty much. So, anyways, I gotta do these, but I'm gonna have to find some more. And, uh, yeah. I don't, I thought I had two of them. It might not be nines. So I'll have to play with that to get this done. I'm not doing that tonight. So, I think I'm going to end it right now. Bruno's came out. Look. I have others coming out of their bedrooms. <laughs> So, anyways, that's an update of what's going on and what my diamond paint is doing. So, when I get closer, I think that was a fruit fly, um, I'll bring you back on again. But I'm going to try to get all these pinks done and stuff. And uh, i got to go through all that before I can do these more of these A's. So... Anyways, that's it for now, guys. Monkey says she's out, and have a great night and great rest of the weekend. Bye, y'all.